Hey, what's up? This is Oliver and Harvey with another video. Today we're going to be saying how to build the plane on Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Okay. Sorry about the quality. Anyway, to get this started, please rate and subscribe. Okay. And like. The first thing you'll want to do is open this door right here. Well, it costs 1,000 points. So, yeah. Once you have enough, the next you open this door here. Now the next thing you will want to do do is open the door where all the dead bodies are. So this is how you do it. You go into Afterlife and you wait and you go right through here. So you go up this, get up there. Jump up there, zap this thing, and quickly revive yourself. Now the next thing you want to get is the warden key. Warden key could be in two places, and it will be electric around it and golden. Okay, the two places it could be is the two places it could be is here. And if it's not down here, so the first thing you'll want to do is open that door if it's not there. It will cost 1,000 points. Okay, when you have 1,000 points, you open this door and then you should see the warden key here. And that's how it looks. The first thing you'll want to do is go into afterlife. If you go into afterlife, you need to get the warden's key. You can't get it because there's electric around it. So you go into afterlife and you will want to go through here. So yeah, I failed a couple of times jumping through. Anyway, once you get through, you electrocute this thing, go back and revive yourself and get the warden's key. Warning. First, the warden's key is in the part, but you will need it to get part. Second, as soon as you get the warden's key, the warden will most probably come soon after. And it will most probably be when you're getting the first part. Anyway. Now we're going to tell you how to do the first part. How to get the first part. You open that door with the warden's key. And one of you go into afterlife. And zap this thing here and revive yourself. Now you activate the laundry machine. And there will be a cloud of zombies with about 20 to 50 zombies coming. And most probably the warden. Just shoot the warden slap bang in the head. And it should be done with. So just, just, you should do it on a low round so there's not many zombies. So just wait a bit, or maybe take two, one minute and just get rid of all the zombies. You should be able to get the part and then you need to go to the plane and build... Go to the area, then you need to go to the area where you build the other parts. So you open these two doors, will all together cost 2,000, and get to, to the To open the door to get access to the plane, you go into afterlife, go right through this hole, jump up and you're on the roof where you build the plane. You zap this door and go and revive yourself and you add the parts onto the plane. Add the first part on the plane and now you need to go and get the second part. part. It's very simple. You open this and get another part and it's right next to the plane so that's the easiest part to get. Nothing you need to do. Only you need to have the warden's key to get that part. Now we're going to go and show you how to get the third part. By the way, there is no order you need to do it. You can do it any order when you like. When you get to these staircases, you want to go down and open this with the warden's key. And then you go back up, ready to get the second, ready to start to get the second part. Okay, then you go into afterlife. And there should be a code, and it will be a different code every time. So this one is 7, 
to five, I think. So you just zap this thing in. It'll be a different code every time. And you quickly go up and revive yourself. And quickly go and get the third part. You want to do it quickly or then the, you have to do all the code thing again. And then that's a waste of afterlife and time. So you go all the way down these stairs. And you need to buy a couple of doors. This one costs a thousand. I already opened it. And yeah. And you go through here and go and get the third part. Then you need to go back to the plane and add it on. And then you'll be ready to get the fourth. Anyway, when you add this part in the plane, you will want to go and get the fourth part. Um, the next part you will need to do is in here. So you open that with the warden's key and you will need to go into afterlife. So you go into afterlife zap that and go and revive yourself and then go and grab this part and add it on the plane but you need but then but quickly you, if the door closes on you like that you go into afterlife again jump over zap the thing revive yourself the doors open now you can successfully add that part on the plane and then go and get your final add part. this part on the plane and now you need to go and get your last part. Now to now the next thing you want to do, what is to get the fifth part, is you want to go into afterlife, and then you need to zap three electric things. So you and that you zap that there should be a blue wire. You zap that one. Follow the blue one, I would tell you. You zap that other one. And then go through here. And zap this one. Then you go where I got in this video. The warden's key. What is outside the warden's office. And you should go there. And then you'll be ready to try and get the fifth part. What's the final part? So you go through here and you have to zap those three things near the dogs to get this part. So you go into afterlife again here. Go through the same place where you got the warden's key. But you go forward, take a go through here and zap that thing again. Go down here and go and revive yourself and then you go into the warden's office open this door with the warden's key get the parts and then you have got all the parts and all you need to do is add, add it on, it on the, the plane. plane you press X here it should say and you get on the plane I accidentally left Harvey here Anyway, and then you wait for a couple of seconds, and then you go to Golden Gate Bridge, and that is how you build the plane on Mob of the Dead Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you. Harvey isn't speaking because he isn't here at the moment, but he was with me. There he is. Anyway. And then this video, I hope you enjoyed. And this is how you go to Golden Gate Bridge. And you could always go back to Alcatraz. You just get in the electric chairs, what is up here, or will spawn on the next round. And that is how you go on Golden Gate Bridge. This is Harvey and Oliver. And our next video should be up on Thursday. Anyway, this is Harvey and Oliver. And bye.
Hope you enjoyed the video.